feel-good story of week one, week zero, that is, and it's week one now, and not a whole lot of people play against Myrtle Beach and feel anything except for grateful that it's over. Let's go to the highlights here. Myrtle Beach taking on Carolina Forest in this one. And this is kind of what you'd expect. Everett Golson here dropping back, not finding anybody. So he's going to tuck this one and go. Look at this. Everett Golson, you know, he's committed to play for North Carolina. Dives in for the score. Myrtle Beach on top early. Then Golson, he can do it with his legs. He can do it with his arm. This time, finding his running back right there. He is scampering through the end zone. Another touchdown. It was a parade of touchdowns for Myrtle Beach in this one. They would just keep it going. Let's go back to Everett Golson again. How about going through the air? Hey, might as well if they can. They should. That's Dante Sumter, the East Carolina commit. Myrtle Beach just kept this one rolling. They got lots and lots of offense. The Seahawks back-to-back 3-8 -back state title games. And you can see why. Their defense, uh, don't mess with their defense. Carolina Forest, man, they had a lot of problems in this one. Myrtle Beach gets off to a great start to their season. You see as Golson doing it again through the air. Some little short one. They take the win in this one, 63 to 6. Like I said, it was a big win for the Seahawks. WNBF News reporter Matt Moore was our photojournalist at the game tonight. And Matt, like I said, big win for Myrtle Beach. Thanks, Justin. I'm here at Carolina Forest High School where Myrtle Beach certainly got off on the right foot as far as defending their lower state title is concerned. I caught up with head coach Mickey Wilson right after the game. We, we got to work on penalties. Our penalties killed us tonight. You know, you expect that in the first ball game, but we got to do a better job of that. And our kickoff team didn't do great tonight either. We, we got a lot of things to work on to get better. And they came in. They was the better team, and they was more focused than us. So we just got to work harder and look forward to St. James and step up our game. And uh, we just have to carry on next week, stay complacent. Uh, I mean, not get complacent, work hard, and uh, get ready for Burns. And as Dante just said, Myrtle Beach will face Burns next week. That is a huge matchup for the Seahawks. Now let's take it back to Justin for more HD highlights. I'm Matt Moore for WMBF News Extra Point. Matt, thank you very much for that one. And talking about teams that got off to impressive starts last week in Week Zero, you got to talk about Loris got off to a great start with a big win, North Myrtle Beach. First year head coach Perry Wolbright, not the same. Tonight, Loris looking for another big win. The defense all over the place. Timmy Bellamy, no place to go. Swallowed up by Denzel Strayhorn with the sack. And Loris in the first week, they had the ground game. In week one, they had the ground game. This is Fred Bryant. Big run around the corner here. Finally pushed out of bounds. Lucky our cameraman avoided that one. And then it would be more of the same. Bryant, the big man, look at that, the fullback guy right here it is Bryant again getting the ball gonna break that tackle is he gonna get away from that no he's just pushed out of bounds that's okay a personal foul however would set up a short touchdown run by RJ Brown right here he takes it in around the left side Loris big win in this one they roll all over North Myrtle Beach 44 to nothing